Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is Dave here. Going to do a review. I'm sorry. Basically, going to show you guys how to uh, increase the torque and speed of a electric scooter. Specifically, this is a Razor E200, but pretty much this works no matter where you go. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, and I'm going to make this in clips to make the video a lot quicker, is now to remove, remove these screws. Uh, it's a good idea to keep in mind where these screws were because some of them are different length. Uh, shorter screws, longer screws. Uh, you will need a screwdriver, an Allen, and some kind of uh, wrench, or I'm sorry, to to hold the nuts on the back of this section right here to take these screws off. So once we do that, we can get to the guts. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out these two screws to get out to this metal, this metal bracket out here, and to get down to the guts of the processor back here. Here's your two 12-volt uh, batteries and your motor with your chain link back here. So let's go ahead and take out this bar and get to the uh, processor down here. All right, for this next section, we're going to have to take out these two screws here, which I want to go ahead and point out before somebody got to pulling out wires here. Um, be careful that you're not going to uh, do anything with your connectors here. They are covered for protection because you can short out these two batteries. That's bad news. So uh, take any precaution you need to. If you need to, go ahead and disconnect these. Push in that little clip here. That allows you to pop these out. Um, they're only going to fit in each one the same. Uh, so you're not going to be able to swap out the wrong pins here with the wrong plugs. Uh, so go ahead and unplug all this. That bring the safety level up a little bit better. And again, you're going to need to take the screw back here out. Also, for any of you that uh, notice I'm doing this free-handed, uh, I got a, um, a video camera that uh, is able to grab on uh, to the unit itself, which I got a review on that. You can always check out my uh, YouTube channel. You want to take out these next top four screws next. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I done this, it was not easy for this next part because they do a really good job in making sure that you're not going to get corrosion on all of your processing board down here. And uh, how they do that is they basically cover the whole processor in a gel. So we take out those four screws, we should be able to I'll remove this. I hope I'm not forgetting something. Shouldn't, that should have been all of it. I can see it's still sealed up here. Maybe this isn't the unit I've done this to. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and yeah, give it a nice pull there. You can see that I'm breaking the seal there. pause the video while I work on this. All right, so what it was is there's just a really good seal on here. Here's a, f a flathead to, to break it apart. You're able to pull this out. Now, you got your board on here um, pretty much held in place between all these connectors coming in and the fact that it's screwed in on this side. And it's kind of hard to see. I'm trying to point it out before I take it out, all everything apart. There is a piece of metal in here. Right here and it's uh it's about that long and it comes up goes straight over and goes right back down the board that connector comes from here and goes to here what it is is a current limiter it's the amount of uh, electricity uh, amps that can flow through that single piece of metal is the amount of torque and power you can use you can increase that by, let me see if I can get a little bit more light on there. I want to make sure you guys are getting a good look at this. Because the harder way of doing this would be to take that little piece of metal there and uh, remove it or add to it. The easiest way that would be to add to it is going to be covering from this piece of metal to this piece of metal with a 
uh, any type of piece of metal or even solder itself, uh, paper clip or anything. So what you want to do is try to get something in between these two or remove it from inside there and replace it. If you have a soldering iron, uh, what you're going to want to do is maybe take a piece of uh, paper clip, try to make sure you strip away, make sure there's nothing on top of it, uh, it's a nice smooth surface, and you're going to want to uh, find that piece of metal, this goes along with all the electric scooters, find that piece of metal, measure you out a little piece, uh, get something to cut it off, right about that length. and soldered it on there. If you don't have solder, you can do anything from having a good piece of tape that comes across here, or uh, hot glue, super glue, something that will keep it on there and leave its contact on there. Um, you want to make sure you kind of, like I said, cover it. You don't want that piece coming loose and jumping across here. You'll burn out your your uh, processor right there, so um, your circuitry board. So, uh, but th that's what you're looking for. That little piece of metal. You're looking to jump it. Either the best way would be with solder, or follow up with um, something strong tape or a good piece of duct tape or something to cover over top of all of the board so it doesn't jump around. And that's how you do it. Put everything back together. Uh, give your scooter a try. You can always put it on there and connect everything. Get back inside here try it out uh, see if you can notice a difference I'd try a uh, good way to test it out is possibly going up a hill at full battery uh, with your heavy weight uh, adult weight and seeing how fast you go up it and then once you've done this you should be able to go back and notice a big significant in torque and speed so if you guys appreciate it uh, I'd appreciate the uh, like uh, don't forget to subscribe all that good stuff